know this is so dangerous for Bitcoin. We cannot take this crazy drop in the market. Oh boy, what are we going to do? Anyways, today on the Crypto Bliss channel, I'm about to show you why. Right now is one of the most dangerous positions Bitcoin could be in. But my friend, I will surely have you convicted at the very end of this video that we are in a very beautiful position to have the craziest launch pad of Bitcoin right here, right now. Let's delve right in. Obviously, with the Iranian... <clears throat> they launched 400 rockets to Israel after Israel had launched and bombed one of their um, government official buildings. So for me, my friends, war is busy happening. It's unfolding. Shit is happening across the world. I don't know what to say. This is horrible, terrible. I could not wish this upon anybody. I'm not going to get political here in this video, but that just is what it is for now. If you cannot see where we're at, Bitcoin will break 100K this year. If it, in, if it follows the average gains made after a green September candle. So October, 25%. November, 11%. December 19%. So all of that basically takes us into December at like 106,000. I would like to know if you think it will hit 100,000 100, by the this year's end. Let me know your thoughts down below. But for now, you can see that Bitcoin just closed the month up 7.3%, which is the biggest September gain in all of 11 years, as you can see. All of most of the Septembers, and that's why they call it Red Timber and October, because essentially in September, now we have officially had the largest gain. And I did show you that on the monthly candle on here, where we closed up 7%. That's a very healthy candle to close in that manner. Right now, we're tapping down, pulling back a little bit, whoopty flip and do. But you can see here that the sell pressure on the weekly is kind of capitulating right now. The weekly is getting ready to bounce off of the 20 moving average. I mean, seriously, guys, look at where we're at. If you zoom in here, right there, right now, the current price is sitting on the 20 moving average. Look at how we pulled down. We couldn't even get down to the next moving average, which is all the way down here at 55,000, just by the way. We pulled down, we hit this horizontal level, and we are now essentially bouncing off of this level. If we go and have a look at the three day, the three day is pretty much bouncing off the 50 moving average, which the 20 moving average has just recently crossed over. So my friend, I don't know about you, but even though we have a massive volume candle here, which is engulfing like all of this buy pressure, that's telling me we could come down a little bit. I don't believe we're going to come down terribly much more than where we are. And I'm going to show you that because on the daily time frame, we have now got a higher low than this candle. Okay. We also have the 200 moving average right here. And uh, we have the 20 getting ready to bounce off of the 100 and the 50 moving average with the green candles. If the green candles can close the day just above these candles, my friend, we're going to see some really juicy things. And even if they don't, I still think that we're going to continue to push up because right now, even though we kind of broke this, this upward sloping line here, <laughs> fell through, it's okay. It really just don't matter because we have the best month in september that we've had the month closed up very high not only that but when israel and versus iran escalation has come into place yes we might see a massive drop over the last few days but really when we look here what essentially this is detailing for us is that on average 50 days days around geopolitical risk events once the geopolitical risk starts it takes us like 50 days to get out of that. Isn't it ironic that we have October uh, and November coming up and then 50 days after geopolitical risk, Bitcoin literally fucks off up beyond the stars. So I, I don't know what else to say to you, my friend, but if you are selling Bitcoin at a time where M2 money supply is literally pumping and Bitcoin follows M2 money supply pumps, we have not yet bounced off of the launch pad on the M2 money supply. Not only that, but BlackRock, while others are selling, okay, Bitcoin ETF saw 41 million in inflows yesterday. That was from 
uh, this morning, just by the way, this article. Not only that, but just in Bitcoin ETFs, cumulative inflows are now about $45 billion, the fastest growing ETF in history is the Bitcoin ETF, okay, spot ETF to be precise. Now, this is pretty cool. Um, Argentina Vice President Dr. Victoria Villarreal asked El Salvador President Nayib Bukele to educate her on Bitcoin and their volcano bonds. That is massively bullish. So look how happy Nayib is and uh, look how excited uh, Dr. Victoria is. And what you can see here, my friend, is that BlackRock is not giving up and not selling while everybody is selling. Don't be fooled by this red in the streets because if BlackRock aren't selling and their spot ETF already hit $1 billion in trading so far yesterday, that's $1 billion back into this market. Imagine what is about to come. Imagine. Because BlackRock, sorry, all the spot Bitcoin ETFs bought up all of the mined BTC in September. So this was the mined BTC, 13,500. And they mined, sorry, they bought up like an extra 1,000 more of the 4,500 coins than were mined in September. Supply is drying up, shriveling up. And if you're missing out on this opportunity, you need to come over and buy yourself some Bitcoin, whether it drops down here, it pumps up the buy and sell some Bitcoin. Get yourself to one Bitcoin, my friend. That is so important. Use my link down below and you can get yourself a ridiculously juicy deposit uh, bonus. And show some love for me on the channel. Thank you for subscribing to my Crypto Bliss channel. I truly appreciate you for being here with me today and much love. I hope you have a good evening and don't be fooled by all the FUD. Don't get scared by this. Unless you're trading it, it's very different. If you're buying it on spot, okay, it's very different. Spot is where you want your Bitcoin. Take your Bitcoin and transfer it over to your hardware wallet. Thanks for being here on the Crypto Bliss channel. Once again, truly appreciate you. Much love and we'll see you on the next one. Best of souls. Take care.